Hey traders, this is going to be a little different video. I thought I'd show you how I do a session recap and then how I do alerts. So there'll be a two parts to this video, the session recap and then the alerts based on that session recap. So I'm going to get out of here and we'll go in the charts and take a look. All right traders, this is a uh, uh, session recap for the 21st day of uh, April, oh, excuse me, of March. I'm a little ahead of myself. And you can see that uh, dollar index is um, pretty well traveling to the north uh, pretty well. Big area up in here, but it remains to be seen whether we can take out this triple top here. You know, now MACD down here, it is telling you we're going to take it out. All right. So we're going to go with dollar strength uh, today. And uh, dollar strength means uh, euro would go to the downside. Unfortunately, you can't trade the euro because it doesn't have a 55 pip ATR. Never trade a currency that doesn't have 55 pips or more uh, uh, ATR. It's only 51, as you can see here. All right. Pound dollar, however, will be a new story. Uh, and uh, we've come down pretty hard, as you can see. We've done three times the ATR here in the last day. So that's pretty strong. MACD clearly telling you you're headed down uh, right there. All right. We've got a 1,000 target right there. So all we got to do is find out where the uh, next target is. And uh, let's see here, pound dollar, 67 pips. All right. So, oops, excuse me. Hold on. So it was 67 pips, and uh, we're going to be starting somewhere in here. So it's not quite five, four o'clock, uh, five o'clock yet in New York. So I don't have the real the ATR, but I'll just figure this one just just to get it started. All right, 62 pips is all we got and uh, there we go so we're coming down here I would hold for the 1000 there so there's your opportunity right there all right uh, um, dollar yen can't trade dollar Swissy can't trade Aussie dollar can't trade New Zealand dollar can't trade Aussie Swissy can't trade Aussie New Zealand or pound Swissy because the ATRs are too low all right so over here to dollar yen and uh, we almost went to target this morning but now dollars going up so uh, let me uh, see how many pips it is. It's 110 pips. So we'll flip this to the upside and we will start up here. Now you can see you don't have a trade up here. Why? Because you're in the top of the channel. So there is no trade here, but the target is still there. 110 pips, which is exactly 55 times two. Notice that All right now, if it were to go slow, and that's a big question. If it goes fast, it's going to slam into here, but it might do that and pull over here and then go. All right. So what we'd like to see is for it to go sideways here and then do that right there. So you might get that opportunity later tonight. Let me see where the 1000 is on this one. And uh, we pop a pair from the swing low to the swing high to the swing low. And the 1000 is just above the ATR. So you want to hold to the 1000 right there. All right. Over to Euro Yen. All right. So Euro Yen, uh, Euro Yen, if dollar is going up, uh, dollar Yen is going up, Euro Yen is usually going down. We do have a breakout and a double top in here. looks like they were able to get their money out here on this uh, little pullback here. So uh, we're looking to come to the downside right now. And uh, let me see here. Let me pull this off. Oh, the wrong one off of there. All right. Sorry. Let me put that back on. That's the fib to the downside. Here we go. All right. So let me pull up the ATR again. And... Uh, Hold on. Here we go. All right. So uh, Euro Yen has an ATR of 121 pips. All right. Now we, uh, it's, again, it's not quite five, five o'clock. So uh, I don't, it'll be close to this, but it won't be exact. I'm going to go here to the downside, go 121 pips, one, two, one. And uh, it's down in this area here at 163.45. I'd hold for 163.15, the, the fib just below it. Pound yen should be also making the turn. It did make the turn pretty easily. Euro yen faltered. Uh, it did its ATR uh, yesterday right there. So um, uh, we didn't have, we had traders trade it and got about 27, 27 pips is all out of that. And then they bailed on it and it went anyway. All right. Pound yen, 132 pip ATR. So we'll, uh, it's not here yet, but it's going to be roughly in this area down in here. 132, 132. And that target is down here. I'd hold for the 190.39 right there. Okay. All right. Uh, go over to the exotics. Aussie yen. Aussie yen did its ATR up plus a few more. Headed down now. We know that uh, euro yen is coming down. Pound yen is coming down. Aussie yen will come down and so will New Zealand yen. 
Again, this is not exactly close. This is pretty close, but not exact at this point. 70 pip ATR, and we'll go down for 70 pips and just see where that area is. 70 pips, there we go. Let me take the uh, pip off to the upside. It's over with, and we'll put a new one on to the downside, grabbing this leg right there. There we go. Ooh, nice. Okay, see, they know them. All right, so there's the wide open space. That's a pretty nice opportunity right there. You're going to have to get it pretty quick because you only got 60, 70 pips, and by the time you break it, you're only going to have about 65. But it's still a great opportunity to the downside there. Uh, Euro Aussie. Uh, Euro Aussie. It also went to, AT, to its target last night. And uh, dollar going up. This should probably follow its way up. MACD is pointing the way up. Euro Aussie has an 88 pip ATR. And again, it's going to be close, but not exact. 88. And there's the target, which is at 61.15. Oh, excuse me, 61.18. Hold for 60. 60. Excuse me, 66.18. Hold for 66.28. Swiss yen should be turning down. It is. Did its ATR easily last night, as you can see. Once again, we'll get a new uh, ATR uh, at five o'clock. Chef Yen has 113 pip ATR. As you see, they've gone to sleep here. 113 pips to the to the downside, and there's a target down here at 167.80. All right, over to uh, Pound Aussie. All right, Pound Aussie easily went to its ATR target. So remember, you won't get one until tonight. A little later, and we'll just figure the ballpark at this point in time. I had an internet out, out, outage today for four hours, and so I, didn't, I couldn't do any of this stuff earlier. So now it's actually quite late in the day for me to be doing this. But found out the 104 pip ATR, find a five o'clock candle uh, tonight. You'll get a new one at five o'clock, 104 pip ATR, 104. It'll go higher than that because we had a big mover. Target right now is down there at 191.50 right there. All right, over to Euro New Zealand, and Euro New Zealand should be going up. It went to its ATR, no problem. That's why we use the ATR. All right, so this is no longer a, a rising wedge. We'll get rid of that. We're headed up. You can see you got a little channel to the upside, not very steep. So be aware of that. This was yesterday's ATR. Uh, today's ATR, which they almost got to tonight. We're going to uh, Euro New Zealand. A 97 pip ATR, go up to right up there, 97 pips, and it'll be roughly in this area here. I'll send alerts out a little later here since I get the ATR. And uh, 8063 is the target up there. Uh, Pound New Zealand, oh, let me go back to that. I want to put the 1000 on. All right, so 1000 from the swing low, swing high, back to swing low. 1,000 right at the ATR. All right, that's a good. They got two targets sitting right there, so watch that. All right, Pound New Zealand and uh, almost the target right now from this morning uh, off the rising wedge. Uh, we'll get a brand new one tonight and Pound New Zealand, and uh, it's got 110 pip ATR, so it'll be roughly in this area. Okay, 110 pips, 110. And there's a target down here at uh, 208.21, uh, so 208.20. And finally, New Zealand Yen. All right. New Zealand Yen got the breakout we are anticipating, and it went to the pip to its target. To the pip, folks. All right, so we'll get rid of that. We'll get a new one now. New Zealand Yen, 59 pip ATR. Tough to trade it, but man, if you can catch it right there on that beginning, you might have a nice opportunity. 59 pips. And that target is down here. I would trade it to the 91, which would give you six more pips down there. So there you go. I target 91, not 9106. All right. Hope that helps you. I'll send alerts out to you shortly, and it'll be the next uh, the next part of this video. Hey traders, this is Scott. So uh, this is a little different. I'm going to show you how I do the alerts. And I usually send out four a night. And, uh, you know, you've always seen the session recap for today. So, uh, you know, here we are. Um, uh, MACD making the turn back up. We're making a little flag pattern right now. So we're looking to go up into this area here if we can take out the triple top. But chart saying, yep, we're going to do that. So I begin the process of looking over here on the higher currencies. All right. All right. So most of them are so low right now. So the pound is the only thing we can trade uh, today. 
and uh, let me just uh, adjust this now to go up to here and hold on I just put a new one on all right so pound dollar has an ATR uh, where are you right here 74 pips so we find the, uh, the open of the 1600 candle which is right there and we're going down for 74 pips 74 pips right there we go and there's the target all right now the 1000 is just below it and you also got an s4 and you got a fib right below that so we'll target the s4 so let me put an alert out here all right so alerts and i'm going to add alert here and it's the pound dollar all right so today's the day it goes to everybody and it's an alert update and uh, it is the pound dollar so pound dollar right in here all right we're going to sell it all right and the entry price is going to be right below there 26.50 uh, all right, 12650, 1.2650. All right, and the target price is going to be the S4, which is below the ATR, which is at 12571 here. So it's 12570, 1.2570. All right, and we'll get the one in there. All right. And after it, we need a break and a hook back up. Break, hook, and go. And there we go. So the GU is off and uh, running. All right. So uh, GU to the downside. All right. So we keep on looking here, looking for higher ATR currencies. Dollar yen is a higher one. No room up here, as you can see. You're going to slam into the channel wall. Yeah, if it gets over here, maybe it'll work. But, you know, you should be on top of that from the session re recap. Over to Euro Yen. Oh, baby. Making a, uh, just starting its run down here. So let's take a look at that. All right. So back to the uh, alerts. Oh, yeah, um, not alerts. I'm sorry. I mean the um, ATR. All right. ATR today on the Euro Yen is 101 pips. You see it normally does 118, 101. So it's you know quite a bit below it. All right, so we go up here, we find the open of the candle, which is right there, and we're going down for 101 pips, 101, and that puts the target right here. Got a fib just below it right there at 66, so that will be where the, uh, the target will be. All right, so we'll go back here, put the alert out. All right, and there we go. Here we go. Alert update. And this is the Euro Yen right there. And it's a two digit. Right? So remember, it's different. All right, we're at seller. The entry price is going to be right below there, which is at, what are you? It's 164.61. So 164.60, 164.60. All right. And the target price is at 163.66. 163.66 and the stop price uh, is going to be up above here 164.83 164.83 again i need a break up and go all right there we go so let's we got a, a two majors right now let's go see if we can find some exotics right now so one of my favorites is the pound Aussie, and ooh, that looking good. Look at that big wide open space. Okay, let me get rid of that. Find the new ATR, all right? And ATR is on pound Aussie. 108 pips normally does 124. Finally, get the open, all right? And go down for 108 pips. Remember now, if it puts a high in. You're going to have to raise that up to the new high. So if it pulls up in here and turns, then you're going to have to bring this up to that. Still 108 pips, but it's from the high of the day. So the target is right down here at 91.57. We want to hold to 91.50. All right. So we go back here. We go to the uh, alerts and add alert. All right. So, you know, there's not a whole lot of thinking about this. All right. Um, traders spend hours and hours, and you should be able to do it in just seconds. All right, alert update. It's the pound Aussie. 
Al-Nazi, and we're going to sell it. And we're looking at an entry price of, we'll take it right below, that's 97.52, so we'll go 197.50 on a pullback, 1.9750 on a break, look, and go. And stock target price is going to be 191.50, 1.9150. And the stop price is going to be above this bib right here. That number is 79, so I'm going to go to 83. 192.83. 1.9283. All right, there we go. Break up and go. Submit. All right, so well, now we got the um, uh, GU, the EJ, and we got the GA all to the downside. I usually send four out a day, so let's take a look and see what else might be good. Uh, let's try New Zealand here. Uh, not very much space there. Let me try to pound New Zealand. What we got here? Ooh, that's nice. All right, so we already a rising wedge to the down there. Let's get rid of this and get the new ATR. That's from the session recap earlier. All right, so uh, ATR is pound New Zealand, 115 pips. There's the open of the candle. That's why you want to do it. It's good to do it right at this time because you see the candle so easy. All right, and we're a seller for 115, 115. All right, you always do. You always do the ATR at five o'clock Eastern time. That's when it changes. All right, so all right. So the target is at 20821, and we'll make it 20820. So we'll send an alert out on that one, and there we go. And the alert is going to everybody. And there we go. Alert update something which is the Euro New Zealand uh, pound New Zealand excuse me pound New Zealand we're gonna sell it all right entry price is gonna be right there it's 33 I'm gonna go down to 209.30 all right two 209.30 all right and now the target is gonna be 208.20 to uh, 2.0820 the stop price is going to be above here, which is at 63, uh, yeah, 20963, 2.0963. Right. You got to have uh, always an, an, an odd number three or seven on your stop, never a five or an even number. Once again, we'll need a break up and go there. And there we go. We send it out. And that's all there is to it. So we got the pound, uh, pound New Zealand now to the downside. So GU, EJ, GA, and pound New Zealand. Don't make it a big long deal. I did all of those in just a couple of minutes. All right. All right. Hope that helps you, everybody.